how do I implement a portfolio approach within my company? Yeah, that's a very good question. I think, I think first of all, uh, you 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 probably are already starting to uh, think about um, what it means to implement uh, portfolio management at your company. You start to probably look at the board, the blogs and uh, uh, what thought leaders talked about, how they prioritize roadmap. And then you start to uh, figure out, you probably should um, start small, right? We have uh, uh, MVP in the product management area. And likewise, if we want to Im uh, implement a new way of uh, doing things, it's always uh, good to uh, start uh, small. And most importantly, uh, think about how, how you might be able to use a tool uh, that comes with a good workflow. And uh, this is also an advice uh, for, for the fact that I, I was an ex-consultant where typically we felt like if you want to align so many different uh, functions to do things in a certain way, sometimes uh, it the easiest way is just to uh, find a tool that already have the best practice baked in the workflow. And then you have uh, some pilot and then you get buy-in from, from stakeholders and then you roll it out to the whole organization. Right, I, I think that's uh, really spot on in finding resources and then don't be the one you, you don't need to be there only one that sort of trying to push a big mountain, make the huge change of organization, right? So the, the resources as webinars and, and the community can also be sort of sounding board saying, this is the best practice and we should be outcome focused organization. We should look at our product instead of, of themes and features only. That is another way we need to focus on as a product. But when we talk to our stakeholders, we do need to look at the business as a whole. So, at, you know, obviously I think having resources and starting small and piloting rollouts is definitely the way to go.